I was able to get a, a weight room installed into my to my house. I have no room to run, room to do drills and, you know, work on bags, movement, hands. You know? So I've been, I've been doing pretty much everything I would be doing if I were in the building, except for, you know, sitting in a classroom and meeting with guys personally. So, you know, training-wise, I've you know, just been able to, to get ahead because you know, that's really changed for me. I'm just still working, still grinding, still, still trying to condition myself for, for whenever the season starts. I already felt I was in their league, and now, you know, now that they have you know, put that, I want to say burden, but that uh, that banner on me that I'm the highest paid, and now I have to uh, assert myself as you know, the top dog. And I feel like I'm I'm confident and you know, ready to do that. No, I mean, I feel like I can only get better. And uh, we'll see it next year. You know, can't talk it into existence. You know, I just got to do it. And so who, who we have on the D-line, who we acquired, and the guys we have in the defense, the medium room, I feel like the sky's the limit, not only for me, but for, for everybody on there. There's no reservation for me because, you know, I, I kind of like that the history is, you know, what it is because it will only make it, so much sweeter when we turn this thing around and actually start winning big games, winning playoff games, and you know, finally get to that, that last one. So I'd like to be a part of that. I'd like to lead the pack for that. And so whenever we, whenever we do that, wherever it starts next year or how many years it takes, you know, I want to lead Cleveland to that, to that promised land.